beautiful people and welcome to your monthly guidance for May 2022 with me, Julie Paul. Thank you for being here. Truly appreciate your time on my channel. Thank you to all my lovely subscribers. And if you're new here, I'm Julie Paul, an intuitive hypnotherapist, author, Reiki master teacher. A few other bits. The link to me is in the description box below if you want to know more. There's also a link there if you would like to join the paid membership for my channel, which starts at just 99p. Up to you. The information is down below. So this is good for your sun, moon, rising, Venus and cross watching. Um, and I also wanted to say before we start, thank you so much for all your beautiful healing and well wishes when I had flu, chest infection in uh, the end of March. I really appreciate that. And also your well wishes for my son's wedding, which went amazingly. My daughter's wedding's coming up in a few weeks time. Hence the extensions in the hair and all the flashy look at the moment. Two children getting married six weeks apart. There with my um, new look. I'm loving it. But anyway, there we go. So without further ado, let's crack on and see what's going on for May 2022. Hello my beautiful Pisces, how are you my lovely people? I hope you're very well indeed. All right, this is going to be your general information from the tarot. We're going to pull some advice and guidance from the oracle and then we are going to look at money and career with this deck. All right, so you've got the sun, the five of cups, the four of wands, the King of Cups. What else for my Pisces, please? Your central energy is the moon. Beautiful, watery energy like you. Deep, gorgeous. Nine of Swords. They are flying out now. I want that one there. Okay. And the World. And the Devil. And the Eight of Swords. Okay. Let's find out some advice. So there's stuff that's hidden and unseen and it's creating a bit of stress. Let's find out some more, my lovely people. Okay, good. I like to see the transformation card when we've got the devil and the nine of swords. We like that a lot. All right, this is from the unicorn. That's from the angels. You've got cosmic diamond. All right, from the wisdom of the oracle. The cards I use are linked below in the description if you are interested. Clean it up, okay. Clean it up, right. Business, career, finance, my entrepreneurs, my business people, my job seekers, my... What, we're not having all of them? Yeah, we are, they're arguing. Okay, all right, we've got the world. The three of coins, the ten of coins and the ten of cups. <gasps> wow. Pisces, in terms of job, career, business, whoop, whoop, whoop. That's fantastic. Okay, right. Where do you want me to start, please? Let's mind these out of the way. We're getting a little bit cluttered. Create some space. Okay. <sighs> Okie dokie. Let's start here. We've got two similar messages either side, clean it up and transformation, all right? So let's start with that. Now, let's just talk a little minute about the energies that we had in March and April. Not easy, challenging, argumentative, angry, confrontational, heavy. We found that in the collective energy, we found it uh, within ourselves sometimes. It was also a huge releasing, clearing, rebalancing energy where we're moving into this higher vibration, you see, my darling. So we had to get rid of the lower vibrational stuff. And to get rid of something, you've got to bring it up to the surface to transmute it and transform it and let it go. So it's not been easy, has it? But we are moving into May now, and May is a much lighter, calmer, sweeter energy. That's what they're giving me, sweeter, nice. All right, so what we wanna do is recognize any part of our energy that after that toxicity and difficulties of March and April might need a bit of a clean up, all right? Do we need to cleanse, clear, meditate? Do we need to just visualize 
beautiful white light surrounding us and clearing away all the clutter because oh they're also saying clearing up the clutter some of you have been quite low through these this last month or two and so you might have got behind with a few chores that you just thought oh stuff it I can't be bothered to vacuum today or I can't be bothered to do that because the energy has been a bit bleh. so now in May we're lifting into this higher cleaner brighter energy so now we're going to look around us and say what needs to be cleaned up because your first card out is the sun and the thing is the sun it shines the light on everything so we can see the dirt so we need to have a good clean up and this card is saying a very similar thing transformation now you'll see how she's got the net around her where she's felt stuck and trapped like a fish in a net uh, but we can release that now we can let that go the butterflies here signifying the transformation so letting go of any heavy energy toxic energy any literal dust and dirt go and have a good shower a good bath give your house a good clean let go because we're coming into new energy now and we have the cosmic diamond number 30 spread hope and joy illuminate the world all right so we're getting into this lighter brighter you know when the sun hits the diamonds the way it creates this beautiful prism of light and we have the sun here which is beautiful the sun is coming out now now we're not through the woods completely but we're getting through the woods and the way that we do it is to focus on the light now what happens when we shine the light on a load of dust and darkness we tend to want to you know you open a cupboard and see all the dust in there and you just close the door again I don't want to look but look and go and clean it out because the sun is shining the light on that which we need to see so that we can deal with it all right so this is bright positive optimistic sunny light that enables us to step into a very warm compassionate loving space instead of this angry hostile space that many people have been in for the last six weeks or so. The King of Cups is warmth and flow. It's a beautiful Piscean card, as is the moon it's next to. We've got this energy where we're coming into the stability now. It's stable and strong and emotionally calm after what has been quite turbulent. So we like that because in your foundation here, you've got the world. You are ready for a major completion. Close it off, done dusted. I'm ready to move to the next level. The, the world card is a celebration. It means I did it. I got to the end of a huge task and I'm ready now to embrace everything I've learned. I've done it, I've achieved it, and now I'm ready to embrace something new. But there is a period here of kind of consolidation and dotting your I's and crossing your T's because this middle row with the Five of Cups and the Devil is saying, well, I have created a lot of happiness, unhappiness around me during this time. I've been sad, I've been down, I've been low, I've been a bit in the doldrums, but the energy has been pretty crappy. So let's just own it and let's just say it has been heavy, it has been toxic, but it's passing now. So let's stop looking at the three spilt cups and let's look at the two standing up in the background. Let's turn our attention away from the sadness. Mm. But the devil in, underneath in your core, this is what's in your foundation, next to the eight of swords is very much saying, I can't, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. All right. The devil is a trapped energy and the eight of swords is a trapped energy. But the good news is, is that both of these are in your head. Now, that doesn't mean you're making things up. Don't think I'm saying that at all. Sometimes, you know, you keep trying to push things forward and they just don't flow. But that's because we're in this sort of energy that was stagnant. So what we want to do is, first of all, let's own it. Let's not pretend it's not there. These are difficult energies, but they are wanting to come to an end. They are wanting to transform. The moon in the center of your energy, this huge energy of allowing your fears, your insecurities to come up to the surface so that you can transform them. We often feel safe when we can see clearly where we're going. 
Now the whole thing with the moon is you can't see, it's dark. This is where you have to trust, put one foot in front of the other and allow yourself to move forward. Now what we're having here, this energy is saying allow it to come up. As we allow the fears, the insecurities to come up, the sadness, the grief to come up, let it all come up and let it transform and be washed clean, all right? When we push it down, what we repress, what we suppress just persists, what we resist persists. Don't push it down, pull it up, right? Pull it up, examine it with love, all right? Because it's next to the King of Cups, which is a warm, compassionate, gentle energy. Let it come up and then let it move out and let it move past into this transformation. Now you've got the Four of Wands with the Nine of Swords and the Eight of Swords. So there's been anxiety related to home, related to your foundation. You felt stuck. Some of you, this Four of Wands can be wanting to move, move home. And you have felt stuck because you can't sell your house or there's no rentals around. And, you know, you just haven't felt able to move on. And for some of you, that's what's got you down and got you upset there with that Five of Cups. I want to move and I can't move and it's driving me nuts. Right, release that, release it. Imagine there is, uh, they're showing me the chariot with the brakes on and just, you're trying to drive it forward but the brakes are on. I want you to literally visualize brakes and you releasing the brake. All right, just feel yourself. I must be in America because I'm using this hand. <laughs> in the UK, we use this hand to release the brake. But I want you to release the brake. Just visualize, I am releasing the brakes to move things forward. But they're saying to me, they're not going to, mm, it's not allow, that's not the right word. They're not going to encourage you to release the brake to move forward from this until you've released this. This lot has to be released and cleaned up and transformed because otherwise you're taking all of that baggage and crap with you and they don't want you to do that. They want you to deal with this, then take the break off, okay? And they're being very firm about that. Don't move forward into the next three months, May, June and July, with the baggage, with the energy that you're carrying from March and April. It's meant to go. Let it go first, then take the break off, then you can move forward. So let's acknowledge with this foundation card, home, marriage, security, it has been stressful and you have felt very stuck. The eight and the nine of swords, feeling stuck, anxious, sleepless nights, feeling all over the place. Right, so we're going to release it, then we can take the break off, then we can move forward. I'm going to get another card actually. What's the outcome please if we release all of this and then we take the break off? The sun is there helping you, the world is saying this all has to come to an end, it's meant to come to an end, so don't resist it, let it, let it be, okay. What's the outcome please? Five of Pentacles, if you don't let it go, you're going to get stuck there. In that misery, in that uh, struggle. Okay, some of you are, that's why they're putting it there. Some of you are just going to stay a little bit stuck for a little bit longer, but you don't have to. You absolutely don't have to. If we transform it, if we clean it up, what's the outcome, please, for my Pisces? What's the outcome? Ace of Wands. Two of Cups, there's the outcome that we want. So there's a choice, there's always a choice. You can stay stuck, Five of Pentacles, which is victim, which is feeling left out in the cold, struggling on your own, not having any support, just feeling really like life is shit. Or you can do that work to release and then you get your new beginning, Ace of Wands, and two of cups from a place of love and harmony and togetherness and a beautiful future here. Now this will happen for all of you. 
right? But some of you are gonna stay stuck there a little bit longer than you need to. It's up to you. The brakes are not gonna come off until you've done the clearing. Done the clearing, done the cleansing. Then you can move forward, okay? And some of you will do that in an hour. Others of you will sit with this for another month and you don't need to, but we always have a choice. We always have a choice. Are we staying stuck here? Or are we saying, I'm transforming it, I'm cleaning it up, I'm determined, I'm ready, Oof, go me, okay? You choose, right. Let's look at these. This is for business and money and career. So for my entrepreneurs and job seekers, those of you wanting more from your business and world and work life and your investments, we have got a fantastic combination here. Ten of cups with the ten of coins, come on. Ten of Cups, my happy ever after. Ten of Coins, my abundance and flow. The Eight of Coins, I've done the work. I am the expert. I am the grafter. And I have got the world here again. You've got the world here twice with the sun. So something is wanting to end and transform and take you into something bigger, better, brighter. So this is a celebration of a major completion. Now, for those of you in business, the entrepreneurs, you guys are, you've put, <coughs> excuse me, you've put the work in, you've learned your craft, you've developed it, and you're ready now to end that beginning bit you know, the, the initiations, the setting something up, the starting something up, that bit's done. You're ready now to fully embrace the fulfillment and the abundance from that which you have been working on. Now, for others of you, the world card is talking about it is time for you to end the current situation that you're in and move towards something that is new, that is better, right? Now, only you will know, because it's a general reading, which is this applying to you. So some of you will be leaving a job here. Some of you are retiring. Oh, how lovely. They're just showing me a load of you, um, Pisces Collective, leaving the workplace and finally being able to embrace your happiness and your inheritance from your pensions and the, the work that you've put in. You're able to retire. For those of you in the workplace, some of you are leaving a job and moving into something much better. Not just more money, but more fulfilling, more enriching, more happy, just this is wonderful in terms of business, money and career. Just beautiful. All right, Pisces, that is what I have for you for May 2022. A little bit of cleaning up to be done. Then we are moving forward. So you're in this cosmic diamond ray. Spread hope and joy. Illuminate the world, be in that sun energy to illuminate everything. As you shine the light on it, see what needs to be transformed and cleaned up, and then you're ready to get the brakes off and move forward. All right, Pisces, have an amazing May. If you did like this video, do give it a thumbs up. That would be most appreciated. Thank you so much. And if you can, do join me for the weekly energy forecast for the collective, which generally goes up every Thursday or Friday. And I will see you next time. Have an amazing May. Lots of love. Bye-bye.